Hey everybody, Spoonie here. Uh, I know a lot of people have been having trouble with the uh, 163 version of uh, Armour 2 Operation Arrowhead. So this video is a short tutorial on how to downgrade to 162 again so that you can play the likes of Daisy Epoch. Okay, first thing we need to do is close Steam. Make sure Steam is not running. Now you need to go to your RAG, ed RAG editor. Now in Windows 8.1 just do a search for RAG edit. Uh, if you're in Windows 7 just do start, run and type RAG edit and that will load the registry editor. Now what you need to do is open your H key current user, scroll down to software scroll down to Bohemia Interactive Studio and you see there's an Armour 2 Operation Arrowhead there right click that, delete yes, you want to delete that out of the registry completely now then, close Armour 2 and reload Steam ok now, a couple of things we want to do here. Right click on Operation Arrowhead, click Properties, click Updates, and make sure you have it set to Do Not Automatically Update This Game. That will stop it from re-downloading the latest version. Now, on Local Files, click Verify Integrity of Game Cache. This may not take long. Um, it may take a while. It depends on the speed of your hard drive and also the speed of your internet connection. OK, now that's complete. It may say one file, it may say more. Whatever it says, let it download it. OK, now then, what we need to do now is, because we've done a verify, we need to run Armour 2 <coughs> and Armour 2 Operation Arrowhead. So we just run them to the first menu. And exit straight out again. And do the same with Operation Arrowhead. You can see it did a little installation there. OK, this is Operation Arrowhead. As you can see, version 162.95248. So, we're running 162. We just have the wrong beta installed to play DayZ. Not a problem. Open DayZ Commander. Hit Install Update. And you can see here, out of date which is actually the beta that we want. So you choose 103.718 and click install. It will still say out of date, but that doesn't make any difference as you can see. All of my servers are still perfectly connectable. They're all running 162.103.718. So, select 103.718, hit install. Yes. Yes again. It will pop up and say wrong CD key. Don't worry about that. Because if you look at the window, um, OA patch 162 has been applied successfully. So it has applied. There we go, 103718. 
and now you'll be able to connect to Epoch servers once again. I hope this video has been helpful to you. Please leave a comment or subscribe, and thank you for watching.